nice thing is we check ourselves before we record. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we check ourselves. That's how we're starting it. That's how we're starting it. <laughs> we check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Thank you. Um, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith at it again. At, bring it back. Um, yeah, uh, it's been a long time. Enjoyed playing You Know Jack, probably. Um, it's a lot of fun to play. Um, but we're going to play the Yogg. And. Yogg! <laughs> you know what? Yes. I'm. I'm that's that's going to be it. That's going to be. There's the intro. And done. And done. Okay. Scene! If you don't know. Acting! <laughs> How did, did you not. Could you, could you tell I was asleep? <laughs> Acting. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a five pound bag of MMs next to us. Um, we got. Uh, the Yogg. If you've ever read a book called Choose Your Own Adventure, this is uh, this is Choose Your Own Adventure, the Vigi game. So you know it's going to be good. Um, so if you haven't heard of it, don't worry. It's indie. You know, I was playing it before it was cool. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It's true. True story. Yeah. Because we're in, we're in uh, Oregon, so... Yeah. We yeah. invented kale. We, You're welcome, <laughs> world. We invented kale. You can go ahead and pay us back now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Press any button. I guess enter any button. So you can choose one of four characters. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna be the sassy black lady. Well, I feel like that should have been my character. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Since it naturally fits that sure, way. Sure, sure, sure. I, I will be I will be the big um, Scotsman. Yeah. Uh, and you can be a uh, sassy black lady. That's appropriate. <laughs> so I feel I like that matches <laughs> us perfectly. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Okay, so uh, once again, yeah, choosing an adventure. I'm not going to really ruin a lot. Um, we're probably going to play this twice because the first time is always a, a run through for the for the newcomer, which would be you, Mr. Smith. Um, so let's let's do this. I'm excited. This is a fun game. As Audacity picked up me itching my head. The Yog will be here in six. The Yog be here in six weeks, and no one expects it. Not a one of us. Not a one of us. Oh, uh, we just keep living our lives week by week, unaware. This is the music I was talking about. Yeah, it's pretty this good. Is, this is good music. All right, so I get to go first, and I can choose uh, which area I want to go to. So there's like the forest, there's the gardens, there's the palace, uh, there's the tavern. Um, you know what? I'm going to the tavern. Where? So you can choose uh, typically two actions per area, and um, and, you, and you're gonna drink. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> One gets you money, one does other things, so... And you can okay. see on the right-hand side of the screen that those are your stats at the moment. So everything starts with a five, except for your wealth. You have zero. My physique should be a ten. <laughs> In Ohio. <laughs> hey -oh. Sorry. Or Ohio. Sorry, fans in Ohio. This is not going to take off in Ohio. <laughs> You're a factory of... You sandals. disrespected Ohio! <laughs> Do you not know we have the Browns and the Bengals here? And LeBron <laughs> used to play here. Oh. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, I'm going to drink. You spend the entire week getting wasted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you gain two charm and one physique. How am I... What, is the physique like a gut? Am I gaining a gut? What? It says physique. It does not state <laughs> what got gained or how it got gained. You, you just gained, gained it. You gained two charm and one beer belly. <laughs> the two charms. You gained two. You think you're really funny. <laughs> Nailed it's it. That's true. I, I mean, round is being in shape. That's true. It's... One day, a bard pulls out his lute in the bar and starts playing a tune. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, his singing is horrible and is ruining the tavern's atmosphere. You decided to do something about it. Convince him to leave or challenge him to a loot duel. Okay, I'm letting you know right now. What these actions then also depend on your stats that you have. And so I'm not going to kind of tell you which ones it goes to. You kind of have to figure it out. Um, but uh, fact number one: win challenge to a loot said, did, duel. Did you, did you say fact number one? Okay, I, I heard I heard a, a British cigarette. Oh, oh, <laughs> no, no I fact. Could be, I could be wrong. Not a British cigarettes. <laughs> okay. Fact number one. Loot duel. Always take it. Okay, done. You bar the bar owner's loot and challenge the bar to a musical duel. Duel. Duel? <laughs> you only just start playing with loot when you realize that you're even worse than the bar. <laughs> I've been drinking, okay? Anything goes. 
<laughs> the bar easily outplays you and motions for you to lay down your loot. Put it down. Okay. There's a couple people speaking <laughs> here now. Embarrassing. Aw, my charm. Whatever. All right. Okay. So up and down on your arrow keys. What you want? Passing the wireless keyboard. Um, now you can't go to the tavern now. Up and down. Yeah. The slums. Slums. Why are you saying the black robe of the slums? So now you can either pickpocket or fi yeah or fight crime. Fight crime. Uh, look at you, A little Red Riding Hood. Yeah. Little Red Riding, awesome. You gain one. Oh, you're people are reading this. Oh. <laughs> one night. Jerk, I'm a speed reader. Jerk. One night, a woman walks up to you. I'm nervous. Excuse me, miss. Feeling a little lonely tonight? She asks. Ooh. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. I hope there's an option to arrest her, because this is a big deal. Sure or no thank? Aw, boo. You had no money anyway, so. But they say the last time it came, the young devoured houses whole, stole lives, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. All right. So I'm going to go... The Scotsman. Scotsman, I'm gonna go do what Scotsman do best. Drink. <laughs> 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 you spend the entire week getting wasted. Two game, two charm, and one physique. <laughs> one down at the tavern, a heated argument erupts between two patrons. Soon enough, fists are flying and everybody seems to be joining in on the violence. Join the fray or break up the fight. I'm a lover. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Huge up top of the table and yell plea to the you patrons. You get punched in the face. I'm a Scotsman. Who punches Scotsmen? Other than the Brits and the Irish. Yeah. <laughs> Before you know it, everyone's calmed down and chatting to one another like nothing ever happened. Yes! They're afraid of me. That's what happens. Thanks for that, said the bartender while slipping a small sack of coins. You gained one wealth. Boy, it was small. <laughs> one coin? No, no, no. One wealth. See, I'm going to start calling my dollars wealth. I'm carrying 25 wealth on me right now. <laughs> Let's look and see. The forest. And you're always like the worst neighborhoods. Uh, Are you going to uh, chop wood or hunt? That poor girl. I'm going look to hunt. Look at her. Look at her. Look what you're doing. You spend the week hunting defenseless critters. You're a jerk. You don't want to hunt critters that have defense. They fight back. <laughs> see that rabbit? I'm going to get that rabbit. <laughs> you gain two vinettes and sell the pelts for one month. Yay. Yeah. One day across a group of people in the woods. From the expression on their faces, they appear to be lost. Okay. Please send them deeper. Uh oh. Oh boy. Uh -oh. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> you went to fight crime and now you're the criminal. <laughs> you jump out <laughs> behind, from behind a tree, brandishing your weapon, demanding they hand over their goods. One of them refuses and recharges you with their pitchfork. Oh, with their pitchfork. Oh, this is not good. You disarmor and knock her to the ground. Oh. Everybody quickly hands over their goods and that's you to leave them alone. <laughs> what is this? Boom. Well, you got money. Three well. First you get the money, then the women. <laughs> it was on, on us in a heartbeat. <laughs> or so the stories go. The earth shook, the air went still. Or the air went still. I can please have the pause. I will from now on. But then give me time to freaking pause. <laughs> <laughs> Not just <laughs> going flying through this. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm... Gonna go. Oh, <laughs> you spend the entire week getting wasted. Hey, I'm I'm role playing a character right now. Okay? Yes, you are. <laughs> you gain two charm moments. I'm the most charming man. <laughs> this is why the Scots never did anything productive, <laughs> ever. They had one hero, William Wallace, like 700 years ago. This is the Scots' problem. They've not progressed. <laughs> there goes Scotland for your podcast, by the way. You count that country out. Oh my goodness. Well, we're just going to alienate everyone here real soon. You know why the Scots suck? All they do is sit around and drink since William Wallace. <laughs> Send your angry letters to Mr. Smith. <laughs> One day, the, the tavern throws his annual dart tournament. I'm gonna go ahead and enter. Oh yeah. Except for a dart tournament ready to prove your dart throwing prowess, I'm gonna lose. Who's <laughs> 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 ever seen? 
happened? You managed to break several glasses and nearly hit someone's head. I'm drunk. Why are you giving me darts? What's your charming? You come dead last. So be there, wrote a song. <laughs> Of how poorly you did. <laughs> and it becomes the most popular tune in town. Why am I going back to the tavern? Use all. Oh. oh. Whatever. I'm done with them. Let's look and see. I'm done with you, tavern. So I fight crime. Now it's time to go to the arena. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Bet. Boy. <laughs> Bet. You got to. You got to get money. Look at that. You spend the week placing bets on your favorite fighters. You can't saw. Shut up. I am amazing. <laughs> you, uh, well, they imagine you stumble upon one of the higher ranked fighters in ingesting illegal strength potions. <gasps> what? PEDs. Please, miss, don't report my sheet cries. Oh, look, women can do PEDs too. That's because women are progressing so fast in society, they can take performance enhancing drugs. Thanks, Title Nine. <laughs> I'll even share some of uh, women. My women. My women never got gone. I'll share um, some. Take it so it gets stronger, or report her. Probably get money. Uh. <laughs> boom! I'm gonna take it. <laughs> you really went from fighting crime to being a complete degenerate. Well, she paid me, and I'm gonna get stronger. No, I'm talking about you robbed people off of the woods. Well, nothing got. I didn't get paid for any of that crime fighting. What a waste of time. That's why. That's why superheroes do what they do. It's for cash money. Yeah. You you can feel your muscles expand significantly. Look at your shoulders. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you gained two physique. You gained two shoulders. <laughs> 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 and then the world was howling fury, chaos, screaming, the sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Screw the tavern. I'm done with them. They're dead to me. I. I'm going to fight. I've, I'm a true Scotsman. I'm drinking and then fighting. Yeah, way to be a stereotype. <laughs> okay, um, you being a black person robbing people and like, <laughs> going to the slums. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Um, Let's talk about this. I, and you're, bite, you're betting no, no. on you're betting on fighting. I went to the Michael slums Vick. to uh, fight crime. Yeah, it's called going home. It, defending the home. <laughs> I'm pretty much the Black Robin Hood. <laughs> Black Robin. Okay. Uh, you stare down. Look at me. I'm a monster. <laughs> With, uh, you actually own those same pair of pants. I do. I'm actually wearing those right now. <laughs> you spend the week fighting brutes in the arena. You gain two physique. Yeah, boy. Your match one warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. How would it get up there? How would it? That must have been a toss. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to hammer throw axes at people now in the arena. He accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. Can I say bull honky? He takes you to court. Is this America? Yep. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and defend myself. I'm gonna... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> you object. <laughs> but you can't seem to convince the judge. Mother... He rules in the plaintiff's favor <laughs> and orders you to perform community <laughs> service. You gain what? Well, I guess better than expected. Yeah. Oh, mentally? Oh, I don't care. I'm a Scotland. Hey, oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. The palace. Oh. You want to do administration work or attend the ball? I rob people, spend my money attending a ball. Dude, you are straight up Tupac up in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two charm, one finesse. That's what we're talking about. Let's see here. What's going to happen? One day the court jester approaches you. Uh-uh. Would you like to learn how to juggle? Yeah, I thought I said jiggle there for a second. That'd be a little bit different. <laughs> yes. Learn how to juggle. He asks excitedly. Maybe he did say jiggle. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Teach you everything I know for a small sum. I think it's like one wealth again. Yeah. Um, do, do it. Yeah. Do it. I made enough gambling. <laughs> yeah. Vic. <laughs> you spend the day with the jester practicing your juggling technique. You improve dramatically. Dang, Skippy. You gain two finesse. You're a well rounded person. Other two. Oh my goodness. Well, crap. That was a great trade. That was a, that was a good trade. One wealth for four dexterity. Or four. Sorry. Sorry. 
for finesse. Yes. <laughs> when it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? I am going to... Are you also going to attend a ball? <laughs> what did you gain? You, you gained a, a two finesse and one charm from the ball, I think? Yes. Ah, screw it, I'm going back to drink. <laughs> <laughs> You spend the entire week getting wasted. You How do you have this much money? Scots get free drinks. Oh. Yeah. You gain two charm and one physique. One day a fortune teller sets up at one of the tavern's tables. If you ever read anybody's fortune for a small sum. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Your life savings. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? This, this title game is going to be like a bashing the Scotsman title. Um, my entire <laughs> life savings on something ridiculous? I'm a Scotsman, absolutely. No. Yes, please, you spend one wealth. Fortune teller takes your hand and begins to shower you with promises of love and wealth. There goes my money. <laughs> she doesn't really go into any detail, and the whole time you can't help but feel this is all an act. Underwhelmed and slightly poor, not by much <laughs> though, I have a heck of a tab, you can't help but feel like you're wa you've wasted your money, much like you're wasted. That night while walking home, the fortune teller runs up to you and gives you a kiss on the cheek. There's a love part, she says, with a toothless smile. Oh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> There's a love. <laughs> well, I'm glad that she's toothless. Thanks, Grandma. What? what? Don't have to worry about dental bills in the future. Oh, okay. Because you have no money. You can't pay for that dentistry. Can I put that on my bar tab? <laughs> <laughs> and she then hands you a giant sack of gold. There's the wealth. Do they have a hack? Well, yes. I don't, I don't think you're a fortune teller per se. <laughs> that is genius. <laughs> but that was pretty smart. Let's look and see. How about the hospital? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's see. Tend to patients or clean up? Oh boy. Both I'm of those sound terrible. I'm like a doctor. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Gain two minor and one wealth. Good cash money. Here I did better gambling. You did do better at gambling, Vic. One day while the maternity ward, you notice a woman about to give birth. <gasps> I remember this one. Do it. Am I going to sell the baby? No. This, yeah, of course you go there. <laughs> the birth is no ordinary baby, however. It's Jesus. Skish Pitch Black. It's Je oh, no. And shiny, its eyes glow like an orange flame. Oh, boy. Well, it rustles on the doctor's hand and drives the fly away. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what are you going to do? Stop that de Stop that demon! It's like, it feels like the doctor's used to saying this. Oh, it's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Here we go. Use your strength or use your magic. Um, your magic is a five. Oh, yeah. Gonna use my strength. Good luck. My biceps. Oh, it's gonna end badly for you. Um, Catch a baby and manage to hold on as it struggles to break free. Nice cat. You got demon, baby. I've got demon... Cause I got guns. Cause you got, cause you took those strength potions. Yeah. <laughs> nice catch. You gave me one finesse. Dude, your finesse off the freaking chart. Runs up the scalpel. Oh! 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 Holy crap! I can't say that out loud. Uh, okay. The doctor runs up with the scalpel. The doc, the doctor runs up with the scalpel and quickly slits the demon's throat. Your mouth goes agape. At the doctor's merciless <laughs> killing of the baby. <laughs> he shrugs and walks away. That's awful. <laughs> That's great. The yog, it's almost here. Oh, almost. Yoy, yoy. Almost. Well, crap. You know what? Is I've been drinking. Yeah, we're about to we're about to go to the next part of the game. Oh great. I know. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go fight. I can actually back up. I thought I never knew you could back up to today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and compete. Backing up is for cowards. Backing up, backing up, backing up. You spend the listen to this music. <laughs> listen to this music. I feel like it's too calm and serene for the fact that we just slit a demon's baby's throat. This is the calm before the storm. Demon baby throat slitting. The yog is more important than a demon baby. Unless we needed the demon baby to save ourselves from the yog. The demon baby's not helping us from the yog. I'm pretty sure that was Satan that the doctor just killed. Anyway, from the whole week fighting brutes in the arena, 
You gained two physique. And my, my home, you spot a rusty dagger on the ground. Oh, don't. Tetanus. This is bad. Okay. I'm not going to ruin the story, but if you're playing this at home, go ahead and try to pick it up. If you're able to pick it up, you're going to have the worst ending in the game. Ever. Playing it out right now. I'm leaving the bloody thing. The rest of your week is uneventful. The fact that the highlight of your week was spotting a little piece of rusty metal <laughs> makes you a little sad. Use one mind. Once again, Scotsman. Who cares? Oh, <laughs> Poor Scotsman. But he looks so happy. Look at him. He looks, so, looks very Swedish chefish, though. Think of Hergen for Hergen. Herd of Herd of Herd of Herd. Oh, this is awful. I guess I'll meditate. Satanist. Spend the whole week sinking into your coat. You spend the whole week in a deep meditation. The whole week? Could, uh, uh, well, bleep. Bleep. <laughs> Mr. Smith, you couldn't do that. No. I bleeped because, not because I swore, because I said his real name. Yes. Spend the week. You gain one magic and two mind. If my boss has found out about this and I'm just sitting under trees, becoming more magical, I would be in big trouble. I think the demon baby would be more of a deal that, for that. Okay. <laughs> no, because I stopped the demon. That's allowed in my profession. You catch demon babies in your profession. That's fine. I can live with that. But getting more magical? Ah. That's terrible. All right, one day a beggar comes up and asks for your spare change. Do it. Uh, do it. Do it. Do it. Trust me, do it. Do it. Trust this me. This is my hard-earned gambling money. Trust me. It's fine. The, you got some psychic coins. It's one. Here's one off. Watch. Thanks, you walked away. Next night, you recognize him on the bench. He's probably eating what looks like a fresh roasted chicken. He sees you in a smile. He's two. Let's grin. Hold up. I just want to point out that you weren't willing to give fake money to a fake beggar. You are a heartless man. You are a heartless, that heartless man. That was my hard-earned gambling money. Heartless man. You robbed people for that money. Um, That's not hard. Whatever. Hard-earned. I'll continue. Heartless. You feel good about yourself, jerk. See? I do feel good about myself. Because you're giving away the money that you robbed from people in the forest. <laughs> and game. Game gambling. Ill-gotten gains. Dominion joke. You gain one physique. You gain one finesse. You gain one mind. You gain one charm. You gain one magic. You're welcome. Here it goes. The storm arrives. This is this is where the game all changes. All those choices you made culminate into this moment. Let's the see how drinking and fighting <laughs> pays off for our Scotsman. Well, actually, we're going to work together now. What? The sign, oh, Wait right? a second. I know. You spent the entire last six weeks drinking and fighting, and I'm going to have to save you. Yeah, thief. <laughs> the storm arrives in the night. <laughs> By the way, you're not winning this. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days. Ooh, M&M's. Mm-hmm. Sorry. For three... <laughs> Product <laughs> placement. By M&M's, brought to you by the Mars Corporation. For three full days, the Tempest puts us through a grinder, drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. <laughs> but then it ends. We see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we past saving? Well, these M&Ms are... Alright, so all those stats that you just got, you now have to choose a role to help rebuild the town. Really? As you can see, the town is kind of foobar. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of kind of gone. Uh, my local drinking hole, kind of in trouble. So you kind of choose what you think will be best. Um, it'll automatically start you, like have your little arrow next to what it thinks is best. I'm gonna tell you right now, you can all you can pick the one that you that it thinks is best and pick the worst one. They set you up for failure sometimes, just to let you know. Um. Do you want me to tell you which one to pick the first time, based on your stats? No. Because I'd be more than happy just on the first time for us to do well, and then the second time we can do terrible. No. All right, if we lose... Mr. Smith rolls the dice. He is a robbing gambler. Well, I want to live. And unfortunately, my, my survivability depends on what you choose, too. I'm going to be the builder, because I have physique, and I'm hella charming. That's true. You take it upon yourself to help rebuild the town by hand, as opposed to by foot or something. 
How did you get that sweet hat? Dude, I'm a Scotsman. You're born with it. <laughs> the legend of the Scotsman. <laughs> comes out of the birthing canal mm-hmm. and grows with you. You made that way too real. <laughs> <laughs> it's tied to the placenta as it comes out. <laughs> you started this. <laughs> you rebuilt those. <laughs> Here, let me show you the one that we bronzed from our daughter. It's right over the, it's right over the wall. Look at that. <laughs> the moment anyone drops birthing canal, it gets real. <laughs> it's just got super real. <laughs> you rebuild homes at breakneck speed, almost at break birthing canal, canal speed. <laughs> I'm pressing the rest birth of- canal speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing it. That's it. I'm changing. <laughs> little text is gonna come up and says birth canal speed. And press, pressing the rest. Of- <laughs> Did you say breasting? <laughs> <laughs> okay, impressing. <laughs> Impressing, screw it. Breasting the rest of the survivors. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't matter. <laughs> Send your angry letters to <laughs> at Bill Gates. This helps their building efforts significantly. Okay, so you could end up doing better than that or worse than that. All right. The doctor. It's telling you to be the doctor because you have high finesse and high mind. That actually might work out really well for you. Um. Except everybody knows I'm the leader. Oh, Lord. I got a decent mind and I'm charming. You're not charming. I've got everything. Look at those stats. You should be the smelter. No, go ahead, roll it. Be the, the, be the, the ta- looter. I should have been the town drunk. That was my. You would have nailed it. That was my calling. Mm. Are you going to be the looter? Are you seriously going to be mm. the looter? You're going to screw us. Go ahead, do it. Do it. You're a jerk. <laughs> you're bringing in band abilities and hoard together everything for yourself you're the worst kind of person oh congratulations but I got money hey you might die in the end by the way you get another oh congratulations this hurt who saw that one coming you're a jerk <laughs> <laughs> and so it's gonna be the same time thing next time this is like the build up this is the drum roll and so we set up set about our task. Breasting once more, living our lives. <laughs> this time in a way we might never have expected or even wanted. But in the end, you killed us, Kyle. Kyle, you killed us. I uh, don't think I did. I hope you know that. We were defeated. You suck. We were defeated. Those of us left struggled to put our home to rights, but the effort was futile. Doomed. The city bled survivors, eventually becoming a husk, a dead thing. And perhaps the Yog was only partly to blame. <laughs> bleep, bleep bleep was to blame you were to blame I, I don't think so it's really hard to pin this on any one particular person your your actions hurt the survival efforts <laughs> okay well why would they give the looter as an option if it wasn't to be beneficial whoa whoa, whoa. that's completely on their fault if they wouldn't have put that there I wouldn't have chosen it <laughs> Exactly. Oh my god. If those people wouldn't have been in the woods with their money, I wouldn't have stolen from them. <laughs> you should be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> the town in shambles, you're too afraid to go anywhere else. Oh no. I haven't got this ending before, so sad. One day, somebody offers you breast potions <laughs> in exchange <laughs> for your services as a bodyguard. You know what? That makes a lot more sense. You happily oblige. A few, a few breast potions, you become strangely dependent on them, craving them constantly. They take a huge toll on your body, and your health deteriorates quickly. On the outside, you look like a, a hulking breast, but your <laughs> insides are rotted and limp. One day, you've had one too many potions. Your corpse is found face down in a puddle of vomit and foam. Oh, that is not good news for you. You know what? I would have survived if someone would actually pick one that was good, you dip turn. You escaped. You escaped the ruined town uh-huh. with a giant bags of coins and jewels and other valuable dreams. You better get robbed. And probably Continue. Yeah. Continue. You move to a new city living a life of luxury and elegance. If you get away, <laughs> you better die. Unfortunately, the city you move has their own horrible evil, the Bieg. Bieg? The Bieg? The Bieg sweeps through the city, tearing apart everything you know. You deserve this. I worked so hard to you steal all this. of that. You deserve this. This time, when you go rushing through the debris for valuables, you encounter a group of people doing the same. You better die. 
you get into a knife fight, and one which results in you bleeding out in a pile of rubble. Which results in you bleeding out on a pile of rubble. Uh, Mr. Smith does not think this is a fair ending. This this is the definition of justice. <laughs> this is if you open up the dictionary, it shows you dying face down <laughs> on a pile of rubble. <laughs> All right, we did not win. We did not win this game. <laughs> That's on you, Josh. Whoa. I was trying. Whoa, whoa. I was trying my hardest. But no, not Josh. Not the unteam player, Josh. I'm relatively positive I became the builder, tried to literally rebuild the town. And you're like, oh, man, you're rebuilding the town. Let's steal everything. <laughs>